coming in. Puppy wants to go, he gets the bash. Yapsor's in position, but mid one didn't like the look of that dive. He backed off me while in the top lane. Zai committing and will find Kezi. That's the first blood. Yep. He was farming, but he quickly leaves the lane. And that is the beauty of how EG like to play, is that they looking to dive Arteezy. Ideally, you'd love to see that Spirit Breaker moving with the Ion Shell on him, but not going to be happening this time. Easy hugging the tower, playing defensively, does get charged, but Zai's already ready to cut this off, gets the two hero burrow, kills off Puppy, punishes him for his insolence, and mid one has to back away. So they commit both cores to this rotation. They're two beefy carries, and they might lose one of them here. Mid one and Viz, do they have detection? No, they don't. Doesn't look like it, but they might not get one now, as EG are showing signs of a five man rotation towards the top lane. The warding has been impeccable. I mean, yep. You mentioned the one ward bottom. They might be able to get Sumail here, though. This could be huge. He's a bit isolated from his team. The lone cow could be punished. Charging from Puppy gets the bash. Needs a little bit more. Kanka coming in with the Torrent as well. Trying to lock him down. They need that Shaker. He walks back in. He gets up the Echo. He gets up the Totem. He's going to kill mid one. Oh, not good. Not good for Secret. Stays alive, Sumail. The cojones on this one. That is painful, Lumi. These two supports really to be want to be like seven or eight by this point or soon after. They want to have a kill. Yeah, like you they want to get something done. You don't pick Clinks and Weaver as your cores and Spirit Breaker back go with back. the Dark Seer to not have kills. But finally there you they'll go. get one. Universe taken down top. Yep. There's an early hood pick up here for Kezu, and there's a lot of magic damage on EG. Oh, but they're... you also have to bounce that with you know actually getting some farm. You can't just constantly not be farming it off the map. Look at the three hits, chunking crit down. The charge is going to get cancelled. I think that was a miscommunication uh, from Se Secret. Puppy was charging, and now the Blink Dagger reveal. Echo comes in, but that clinks pretty tanky. Not the easiest takedown, and will be alive. Yaps are there to break the lasso. Nicely played, and now trying to run away. The charge through. Puppy pile drives crit back. Leave my pesky bone Fletcher away, he says, but no, oh, Spirit Breaker gonna go down here as Sumail comes in for round two. Fisher's there, it traps in mid one, almost but not completely. He squirms away. Clink's just been losing weight, what little he has left. And now Zai low in the river, but EG only losing the bat as a trade for the Spirit Breaker. That was the Blink debut. Economy game for for EG is just much better. They they got the Enigma, they got the Midas running, he's approaching to level 15. Oh, top gank. look at mid one. Guarding MP here. Top There's gank. a top gank. Yep. We'll take down Puppy. One constantly trying to deal with this Batrider and his persistence pays off. Gets the kill. That might be the mid tower. That would be huge. He's going to trolley into it now. Strafe not available. Already used it for the kill. Once again, I think we're going to set up a gank here for on Kezu up top. No shapeshift this time. Sumail does not have Echo yet. He's going to try to start with an Enchant Totem. Fissure comes through, hits the Dark Seer. That's not the target he wants. Now the Enchant Totem back on the Spirit Breaker, but I think the jig is up, and Sumail wants to get the hell out of dodge. Still, though, tanking some Searing Arrows, dropping low. He's still what a extremely, burrow. extremely durable, but pulled back into the vacuum. The boat, the pain for EG as they lose hey. two critical teamfight heroes. That is the Wombo combo that we're talking about, and man. So, to think I doubted it, Lumi. Is the next to be caught out, and this is where having those towers down is oh so sweet. But he's charging through a ward, so Zai is aware of the situation. But does it matter? MP's gonna get onto him. No teleport scroll on Zai. This could be trouble, even without the Spirit Breaker actually connecting. One Searing Arrow, almost half his health down. MP wants to chase. He's committing for this. It's gonna take a couple volleys of auto attacks to get the job done. He time lapses out. Not quite in time. Meanwhile, and now MP in danger. He's on the run. Yeah, Spirit Breaker charged through an entirety of EG, so he just died, and now they're gonna try to cut down EG. What a visual block! Traps MP in, Sakuchi's down, no time lapse, and he's gonna get burned down. Vacuum bolt, torn! Huge echo slam to take down the Weaver. The bolt's gonna come in, they will take down Arteezy as a trade. Can they get a little bit more? Yaps are getting in position here for more X. Looking for the X. Glimmers himself, finds the X here on Sumail, and will connect the torrent. Universe does have Black Hole along with the Blink. Secret got to be careful not to group up. Yeps are sitting back. One to eight, and it is just in time. He is able to do so now. Jumping forward. Puppy commits onto Sumail. Sumail is in trouble being overrun. EG's position has been completely compromised. Three down. Wait, how did, that black, hole, on. How did that black Hole cancel? Calm down here. Reset for the next fight. But the vision is starting to become a problem for them. It's constantly Secret. No... When EG are off in the jungle farming and the greed is being punished, charging for a puppy, looks for the lockdown, trying to cage the wolf, pumping in the Searing Arrow damage. Mid one scores the kill. In secret, find another. Yep.
This is what the draft was designed to do. Just we go for the Roche now, but Lycan has a wolf in it. RTZ on point here with his micro. This is why in bygone days, teams always bought a gem. And EG immediately smoke up. Lycan. Puppy breaks a smoke though. Here we go. Zai's in first. He gets the burrow. It's only on one and not really the easiest target to take down with Kezu having the mech, having the pipe, and the arrows come blazing in, taking out Zai quickly. RTZ tries to man fight, but that's not going to happen until Universe is there. The X was already committed. The vacuum though is there to cancel the black hole and now secret are on the warpath they're gonna turn for crit they look to bring him down big commitment from sunel the totem will end mp still though mid one stays alive a three for two and it's with all the ults expended they might lose sumail oh. two more auto techs yep sir. he's got he's not again. giving up the ghost yet on oh, the wait. chase he didn't quite get it off in time he had a vision he had a ward i'm not sure what happened there yeah, Kezu really came out big in that fight as well. Also, they, they initiated on the Darkseer with a pipe and Greaves. Like, that is not the best hero to start the fight on. EG still want to contest this, though, but Zai will be ushered away. Puppy's there with the charge. No siree, he says. Gets the bashes. Now the bow coming in Ooh. actually connects on Zai. The urn's there as well, but he's going to shrine up. I think both teams have a lot of ways to play uh, the remainder of the game still. Mid one, banging on the front door as he lays into this tier two. You can see Zai is... Trying to do his Ooh. best split pushing job here, top, but he is being charged by Puppy. He might not actually be able to TP out. It looks like he's in a lot of trouble as the sentry gets deployed. They're going to nether strike him back. Yaps are still in position. The damage is not the best from these two, but they slowly, slowly work the scorpion Ooh, down. He burrows again in the tree. Meanwhile, in the river, the real fight breaking out as they've tried to get the power play going here. BG, though, still losing their Enigma pretty early in the fight. Big commitment already. They dive MP. He scurries away. The wolf's time is being wasted, and his ult's about to end as Puppy sees opportunity. Charging in, gets denied by the Fissure, but mid one with the cleanup you know EJ are like we have this 4v3 in the river let's go fight but clinks right so that minus yeah. armor can be extra brutal if you're running in and they're just hitting you with a deso a medallion like you're you're melting probably but x on the flip side the necro book minions also seem to be getting crushed yep clinks is happy to chew those up speaking Yapsor of which, has been missing a lot of his x bolts combo and now but he has a BKB though, they've got to completely change set him, the vacuum interrupts and now mid one can turn if he needs to, Zai's low, the swarm hits him, and now Universe comes in, decent to hero, black hole, Yapsor doesn't have a whole lot to deal with this, but the clicks is just dishing out damage into it, still though the team's getting overrun, still is not BKB, mid one's now lassoed and controlled, BKB finally comes out, but it only marks his tomb, now Yapsor on the run, oh secret. Not oh. respecting the EG combo, they're gonna lose a fourth as the Kunkka wow. gets picked off to climactically end the fight. Put the shades on as you do that. <laughs> Put your other eye patch on. Oh, well, that will impair your vision. How about you do it first, and then as it's going, then you, you put the shades on. They're gonna try to start the fight on Puppy here. Fisher comes in from Sumail. The Yule Scepter to interrupt this chain of initiation. Now the Enchant Totem comes through, but they get scared and they back away as the Black Hole's committed, but it's on a BKP Clinks. He's not taking too much damage. They can look to turn this. Chunking down Universe. Mid one gets his vengeance. Now turning on the Batrider as well. He pressed his BKP and Secret will deny EG here. Zai comes in late and he'll likely be the third down if Yepsor can get him, but he doesn't have the mana. It's Puppy charging through, connects on two. Also finding Sumail in addition to Zai. They'd love to grab additional kills, but even more than that, they would love to take this Roche. The rest of his team was on the high ground, so they could not take advantage of the fact that he was chain stunning essentially half the team by himself. Still though, Secret wins the team fight. They get Aegis and Cheese and Although the second time would be easier because he likely would not have a death pack. Or BKB. Yeah. Yeah, let's see if they can pull it off. They're down a black hole now, though. It is a pretty good time to push. However, beware the Echo Slam, which is still available for Sumail to deploy. As EG are going to tap the shrine, try and stay in fighting shape. They now make their move, jumping on to mid one. They want to crack him and mid break one. that Aegis early. And he will lose it. He was compromised up on the high ground. Really could have sat farther back. Double dust flying out. They're gonna try. The boat's gonna rescue them, but Burrow Strike from Zai is available. They want him, and they are gonna get him. Lasso him back, and that is gonna be killed through Aegis. And now EG, one of the best chasing team in the, with the Lycan, they will take down Puppy as well. That is a dieback. My man, mid one, why was he like, he was next to the melee racks trying to hit people. All right, well, he does actually have buyback, but yeah, that, that is a double death. The wolf is leading the scouting party. As it tries to get eyes on Secret. Secret 
Have to be careful about this initiation. They don't have a gem currently. And now in comes the Fissure to start the fight. Follow up onto the Darks here. The Echo, hey. they commit. They hole as well. And running into it is the Spirit Breaker who can interrupt it. Universe gets off a butte and the Black Hole overwhelms. Now four have fallen a complete route of secret. And now they have enough damage to kill through the uh, Darkster. No Pipe activation, no Grieve activation. Let's uh, have that debate for a different day as EG is. We'll put our Enigma chop shop on hold as EG make their move through the river. Ooh. Lurking on the high ground. Arcane Root. Our secret. And they were scouted by a Radiant Scan, but Yapsor is going to jump in first, tries to bait something out. A little extra shenanigans for him. Now Sumail confidently lumbering up with the Shiva's oh! Echo Initiation. He gets the party started. Zai's there to follow up. Look for the hole. He's got to find oh! the opening. And it's three. Universe, you monster. How could you? Puppy and all his monitors are in shambles. Secret on the run. Completely overwhelmed. He didn't get the clinks, and he was taking quite a bit of damage, but his teams backed him up. They had a Disarm, they had a Yules. Clinks did not do any damage in that team fight. They could go for the GG if they want. They're going to go for the safe triple lane of Rax, or just a second lane of Rax. And this is an EG victory any way that you, you toss it. Stable, patient, and deadly late game. That was the EG draft. That was the game plan. And I, I think the secret lineup is also... Like, like you mentioned, just super hard to play. Much harder to play compared to EG lineup. And you make a mistake, you make two mistakes. That is tough. Attributes that makes Lycan such a strong carry when he's in the meta. Yeah, remember when, you know, when the game just begun, all of these uh, Spearbreaker uh, rotations have been spotted out and countered. We were talking about how EG was playing very well with rotation. They're going to go right into crit. Crit has a self yules. Black Hole is ready again, though. The combo's available. They gotta be careful about this. Puppy wants to back away, but the boat comes crashing in. What will it accomplish? Really nothing. It's a bit of a fail boat as EG just popped their BKBs and rained down pain. <laughs> Applause for Zai, patting himself on the back. And EG, hot on the chase. Secret, give up. They throw in the towel. Another loss for them, and a crucial one here. If they lose this game, too. Invoker does give is... Uh high physical damage, and Pugna is one of the lower armor heroes early on, so I could see a level 3 or something. In fact, it might happen right now. The right clicks are coming in. There is Cold Snap available. Yaps are coming in, applying the right click. Ricky perhaps will cut him off? Oh, he wants to. He's waiting behind oh that Oh my tower god, Zai? He also knows... Oh, Zai actually gets the first blood. EG, big opportunity there. I think that we're banking on, like, get Sumail low, and then the Courier's gonna have to come out and ferry him regen. And meanwhile, in the trees, Secret might lose another. MP trying to doppelganger away, but doesn't get very far. Oh, now, the oh, micro. Jukes, the micro? He Is it enough? EG are still on the case. Arrow? He's salving up the arrow! arrow! It's a connection by Artor! No more mana to get the right click, but And it crit. will be two quick and crucial kills for EG as they get these lanes started the way they'd like. Yep. It, it seems like the lanes are as EG wants them. Yeah, sure, Universe is going to have a tough time, but he'll live. So any adjustments that you'd like to see out of Secret here, early Lumi? They can think about lane swap, uh, as we do see Yapsor picks up a, a decent one with Ricky. They, yeah, they, they can put the PL up top, but I think the whole lane swapping will cost a little bit of time. Um, I think it's just better to just rotate and help PL on, right, on the bottom. We'll see a big dive here as Universe has all kinds of napalm roasted by Kezzy. will be finished off. By the way, in the mid lane, mid one is... Oh, hold that thought as they're diving Arteezy. Looking for the pick off here. They're going to lift him back. And, get and they kill. will kill yeah. him. So they strike back some important kills for Team Secret. For yeah, team. I think it's better just to make sure that PL gets farmed. You put the support bottom. Now, the downside to that is, again, a very risky build because you know with the Midas build up, uh, with the Exhort build, you just farm very fast. MP being pressured here. Bottom, Doppelganger won't get him away. Another pick off for EG. 3-3. Three to three. Early bloodbath emerging in this series. Yeah. He's so under farm that I don't know what he can contribute to Secret. He can contribute gold to EG. That's one <laughs> thing that is certainly possible for MP. And looks like he might be happy to get perfect chain stun. Immaculate coordination, really, as they will find that kill. Yep. Nice little shackle, then into the arrow, followed up with the stomp all the while. Damage raining, and they even got the extra star storm. So everything just really well executed there. They're going to make their move on Sumail, though. This is an opportunity. The cloud gets dropped. The MP's there. Cutting him off, and boy, that really hurts for the Pugna. 
quick, decisive takedown. Universe on the rotation. They're going to find Puppy in the river. Will he be able to get out of here, fade away in time? Looks like he's just fine. Arrow. Arrow coming in, not going to connect. Mid one, looking to retreat. The cloud gets dropped. They got to watch out for Zai. He's got like plus 100 damage because his spirit ran over four heroes. So it's maybe less viable now, yeah. but... um. You know, I, I feel like a good way to kind of give them an insurance policy is he could go back for the Midas, even starting Quasar. It doesn't seem like he will. I don't, we're going to see yet another go on the mid lane. The clap is going to come through, though. Going to be two man sleeping. In fact, Batrider on the back line is going to clean up the kill. The punishment for Sumail this game. This is secret anti Pugna hate squad. Yeah. You know, you just co snap, put an arm in them, and right click them. Already getting active has the Arcane Rune, which is especially useful when. You have these long cooldown CC abilities. Now a whole lot shorter. They're going to try to make the move on Universe again with the Cold Snap. Yep. Support. Kill secured. Early roaming. Early pressure. The name of the game for Team Secret. Troll. There was like... Total one hero pull. At the there top. was like 20 heroes. Uh, there's more I think it was 20. like 40 something. Yeah, just... yeah. Oh god. Every game was like anti-mage versus Spectre. <laughs> whoever, a... whoever got that one of those two carries usually won. At yeah, least okay. in the early games. So but... Mail. Going to get brought down again. Mid one all over the place right now. He has the urn. We'll pop it on Zion. Look at how fast he goes. That tornado hits no one. But it'll zone that was some a, That was out. a taunting tornado. I mean, make sure that nobody was coming. Yeah, down see, the look, line. I don't even need more tornado to kill you. All right, puppy, gonna go right on Arteezy, but he's gonna go. Uh, I know you got this mid late game scaling with the Mirana, with the Void. I don't care. I'm gonna just beat you. I actually, I think four step this game is pretty good against EG because they have. Uh, aside from the Chronosphere, you have, you know, like that stomp into arrow setup that you really top. don't want someone to get comboed with. As they make their move on the mid lane, and yes, simultaneously action also happening top. Arteezy being roasted in the flames. He'll go down, but mid one's in trouble here. He ghost walks away. They came prepared with dust this time. Uh, the Decrepify comes out, trying to get them the distance they need. Now they're giving him the suck, but he's got too much regen. He earned himself up. He's, he's so fast, fast with dude. the triple cross. He's got 24 HP regen a second, and they just can't kill him. He's got the bottle as well, which is not something you see too often from an offlane Batrider, but the bottle was very important and allowed him to pick up more kill. Mid lane EMP Tornado flying off. Zai is going to eat it all out of mana. He's going to go down. He pops a magic wand, but on the back line, delivery here from Kezu, grabbing Sumail. Sumail trying to turn around. Nice ultimate here from Universe. Gets it stolen here. yapsor has got a chrono. Is he going to chrono help his buddy out? No. Looks like he's going to go down regardless. Mail Kezu trying to run out. The fire not doing enough on the back line. Kezu, make it home, my friend. He has two bottle charges. They still have chrono. He will use it. Void just walks through it. My flavor, my immersion, not going to work here. Universe jumps back. A lot of spells being thrown, but the most important kill is a mid one going down. Remember that mid gank where three of them were chasing mid one and he just ran away? I, I guess people just forgot how quick this hero moves when you have face boots and wex. It's moving over 440 MS. I mean, the old build was literally race car, where you'd also yeah, yeah. have drums as well as Yules. Nice yeah. pickoff in the bottom lane by Crip, but mid one is making a play on Arteezy here up top as the MP gets dropped. Arteezy tries to leap away into the trees. The it MP, will connect though. with the tornado crashing through. Arteezy might be done for. He hits the tower once. Not ideal. Arteezy low, but committing for this and ba bailing out his buddy as MP. They'll get the kill. Zai on the chase. Stomp's only going to hit MP. Probably not a possible kill. In fact, meanwhile, Universe is being hounded. Do they want to commit for this? They do. Lasso coming in. Tricks of the trade deployed. Mid one's there. Pumping in the damage. The flame oh. breaking. manages to walk it up, but still the cold snaps keep on coming. The urn is there. Big commitment. Lance will end that void and set him back a notch as they do get the bat right at the end of streak. They also clean a puppy over extension from secret. Costly deaths. Make it a triple kill for Sumail. Maybe more. Well, I said he couldn't come back on the bug the way he could on Storm, but Sumail might just be proving me wrong here. They're also down a him. lasso right now for secret, so perhaps waiting for that. It I think the invoker, I think the invoker and Ricky could just kill on their own. Look at the investment that's been made by EG in these sentries, and still one is going to get caught here. The Crepify comes out. They don't have the PL in position, so Crit stays alive a bit longer. Yaps are coming in, looking for the pickoff, and now the Batriders found another on the other side of the fight, trying to drag him Shackle. back, focus him down. Flame breaks there, roast him in the flames, and he will come out charred and finished. Well done, EG. Losing to Secret. Again getting the big picks. That is the one pushing advantage they could get from the Shaman ult. Yeah. Well, we wondered how much Yapsa would be able to steal, and as usual, he has not disappointed. Universe coming in from the side. Kezu has the... Oh, didn't get the lasso off, but now could be in trouble. The Veil comes out. The Tornado's off the mark. The Life Drain 
Ooh. Almost finishing him. Universe commits the chrono. He actually gets three with it. It looked like it would only be one. Oh, and barely. And now the pain as the Earth Splitter really punishes them. They do steal the chrono, but there's not a whole lot of damage to pump into it. And actually, MP was caught within. He'll drop four dead. The lone survivor to tell their tale is Yapsor. Very so, easy for a Quaswex Invoker to fall behind. So often you're used to seeing an Invoker just being a number one pretty much throughout the whole game, right? Or at an extremely high level. His level is extremely very low as well. Crit on the mid lane is going to get focused down, but the clap is going to be there as well. It gets both. Puppy's going to eat the first spell. The Earth Splitter is going to come through. Four staff defensively, but is there Chronosphere available? No, but it doesn't seem like they need it. Mid one's going to get right click on. The Crep actually helping him a little bit. Doesn't matter. EG just runs him down. And I do believe Secret is running out of steam. I did mention that Invoker can't die more than two, three times. He has since I made that mark. It doesn't feel like the type of game where a PL can 1v5, which means the rest of the team will need to step up. And so far, just getting a little sloppy. They were not all together there. And now MP, speaking of which, he gets caught out. EG smoke and he reveals it. The blink was on, put on cooldown instantly. Yep. So another pick off there. Serpent Ward takes out the building. I agree with your point about the Atos. However, EG are going for triple BKB now, it looks like. Oh, okay. Hold that thought as the Shaman is going to get jumped, lifted, pulled back. No Glimmer Cape to save you this time. Crit dies in a hail of spears. But yeah, you've got a BKB under construction. Actually, more team fight action breaking out as the lasso comes through. We're dragging in Sumail, pulling him deep behind enemy lines. He will die in the flames, burning to bits. And now MP gets in, but he's taking too much damage here. He has Ornado. to back away. He's blown up by the punching action of Zai. Zai will die in turn. Still a three for one. An overall savage victory for Secret. Tower taken, courier snipe, three heroes dead with the chrono blown. They're very happy with this exchange. Whacking away at that tier two, and it looks like this will be uncontested. Wards gets deployed as well, so EG, again, content not to take fights, but Universe found a trap two chronoed out on the south side. This could be real bad, including mid one. He goes splat as the Earth Splitter cuts him off at the knees and does not even have the buyback. Just like that, a huge opening. Puppy continues to take his tax, I believe, as the Radiant Courier. There are some sick acts oh, you could steal in this game. But hold that thought here as RTZ jumps away. Um, the big one here is the Mass Serpent Wards, as you do get the attack range upgrade. Hold so they find the opening, trying to drag back in and isolate the Faceless Void. The Sunstrike comes in, artillery from on high, and they will kill off Universe. Now the opening, this is what Secret needs. They can chase, they can dive, there's no buyback on Universe. Zai gets overwhelmed. Slashed to death by the illusions, and now the Roshan can slowly, slowly be worked on. Or cool down life drain from, from Pugna as well. So some, some decent one, but ultimately uh, the big benefit of the Axe Scepter pickup is the long, long cast range of Spell Seal, as well as a two second cooldown on it. So so I'm not sure how, how much uh, they could rely on that either. Time is money. Slow and steady. Although it might be a lull, they're going to make their move now. Decisively jumping on the top lane, try to isolate Arteezy, finish him off. They get the lasso, Sunstrike comes in for that little bit of act, added assist. And Arteezy falls, does have buyback, down for 80, forcing it would be huge. And they have the Aegis, so they're likely to try. Can be a nice way to set up for another spell steal. Give your team that extra bit of attack speed. Yep. Push on in, see if Yatsar wants to lend that assist. They're pushing multiple lanes at once. Invoker with Alacrity going mid. Top lane looks like the Shackle has happened, but MP very tanky with a heart. Chronosphere being spent on the mid lane. They want to get him dead. Oh no, Ricky walks into the Chrono. Earthspur is going to use mid one. Going to go down. Puppy's going to get caught as well. He'll pop his ultimate on the back line. MP jumps in, assassinates the crit, and he goes down. With some of the big ults expended, still no sign of a buyback from Arteezy, and now he's done it. Good doppelganger back. Yapsor continues to chip. Continues the prod, now down to a third HP, but they do get a bash here at MP. How much do they want to commit? He's still got Aegis. Time's running low. Arteezy jumps in. They really want to crack that Aegis once without committing too much. And then on round two, come back and really throw everything they have at him. But Yapsor, he gets back to safety. He's stolen the time walk. Universe is diving deep for this commitment, <laughs> but Yapsor is already zipping away to freedom. Everyone on EG scrambling after this pesky Grand Magus, but he keeps on He's got running. Blink. He's got Blink. The escape, the running, it just keeps on giving. EG cannot 
cage. The Yap God. Yo, they're coming back in right now. The uh, Universe is trying to jump away. He does have to last. Last on the back line. They find one, and they're gonna try to bring him down. Here comes Yapsor again. He's gonna go right in. Lots of damage output. They take down two immediately. Arteezy also in trouble. I believe he has leap. He will use a tornado coming in from downtown. Arteezy gets purged. Arteezy losing out of the mana. Arteezy goes down. Oh. Zai's on the run. He's got the glimmer cape. Do they have any detection? Oh, they stole the wards. Crit wanted to go for the shackle. He didn't have the range on it, and now the base is really in trouble. If Yap can just blink in, pop those wards down with the PL. Oh, you bet he will. Secret is going to take a lane. Maybe two. Mid is low enough that perhaps he wants to save it for top. Let's see where he goes. Yeah, he's heading. Oh, he's thinking. He's yeah, thinking. Uh, oh. He's thinking. Drop, they're dropping mid. They kill off the creep wave. Some of them punishing the shrine as well. And still that melee has not fallen yet, but the tower's down. Mid one going to work on the melee top. Two lanes of Rax, the two prone assault, and Secret keep on whacking away. The PL gets one melee down. Now the second to fall. Yapsor and squad have done it. Great dodge. No, actually the sleep is uh -oh. gonna catch him. MP though able the to The arrow, the arrow caught mid one in the back line. Are they gonna capitalize on that? They need a lot more. The Chrono comes through, but instantly stolen, lifted, and interrupted. Still, the Air Splitter connects all the same. So they'll have to save that Chrono for a rainy day. But victory for Secret here. Two Lades of Rex down. EG Blue Chrono defensively. Very little chance of a trade. Yep. Well, let's get back in the game. What can EG do now? It seems like they'll be charging bottom. They're, maybe they just want to take a Hail Mary fight to okay, get a Rex. He's there, though, to reveal this. However, he does get caught out. Hexed initially, the BKB lasso coming through. Good connection. Do they have the follow-up damage? Pumping it in from the side. Mid one tries to get the job done. Still the Rubik though with the stolen Chrono trying to get in position to set things up. He drops Chrono. it and Crit walks into it. It's a triple catch by Yap, but they don't have the follow-up quite. It looks like they're lacking detection during this time. Can they get the kills? They right. Rush forward onto Crit. Looks like Pale should be able to finish him up. Hexed up won't matter. Zai now surrounded and being dealt with by two. Yap stays alive with the Yules. The blink out still keeps on giving. The spirit comes back. Oh, 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 oh. And finally, Zai finally kills that goddamn Magus. But the Yules is there. TP interrupted. Tornado and revenge for Secret. Four. Four down. No buyback on RTZ. No buyback on Zai. He got Yapsor, but was it worth it? And an unlikely one even should they arrive. Now they make their move under cover of Moonlight Shadow. They walk past Fariki Illusion. By the time they get in position, it's already too late. They the still want to fight this. Claimed. They want to take the engagement, but the Peel Illusion surge forward and they get onto the Shadow Shaman. Glimmer Cape retreat, but the chase is on. And mid one's there, starts it off with the Yule Scepter. Holding him himself in position for now. Crit drops down and is in trouble as the PL locks onto me while the Batrider onto the back lines. He gets off the BKB lasso, trying to control that Earth, that Elder Titan, but a really good Chrono from Universe comes through. What can Yapsor do? He's stolen it. He bubbles up the Pugna, keeps him in place for now, and Secret have the extra lives. They've got the firepower running through the void, pummeling Arteezy as well. Streak after streak being claimed here. Secret rampaging through EG. GG. A must-win game, and they do pull it off. Wow. They need Need to go 4-0.